What's up everybody, Greg here with Lens Protego and Lens Rentals and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be doing a lens test of the Fujinon Cabrio 19 to 90, an absolute workhorse in the industry. Really excited to get into some of these tests and see what the optics look like. We're gonna be looking at flaring, breathing, bokeh, edge distortion, sharpness. We're gonna be looking at the parfocal, close focus, all of those things. So let's dive into it right now. So the first test that we're gonna be doing is checking out the breathing of this lens. Now we're at 19 millimeters, and what we're gonna be doing is racking focus from close focus to infinity, and then back again, and seeing if there's any zooming in and out on the sides of the frame. As you can see with this lens at 19 millimeters, there is almost no noticeable breathing with this lens. Now we're gonna switch over and do the exact same test at 90 millimeters, so the telephoto end of this lens. As you can see, there's a little bit of moving around of the lens, but there's really no breathing in and out. It's more of just the lens being moved because we didn't have a super solid tripod that we were testing this on, but the breathing is very, very minimal, even at 90 millimeters. Next up, we're gonna look at the bokeh test. So going from a T2.9 all the way down to a T22, and then close down on the aperture so it's completely closed, opening all the way back up to a T2.9, and then going through them in steps. So here's a four, 5.6, eight, 11, 16, and then closed all the way down, opening all the way back up to a T2.9. We're gonna do the same thing at 90 millimeters, going from T2.9 all the way to close down, and then opening back up and going through them through individual stops. As you can see, we get a pretty nice circular bokeh starting around a T4. Once you start getting a little bit wider than that, you start to get some points on either end of the out of focus area in the background. And then just opening all the way up again to a T2.9. Next thing we're gonna look at is the edge distortion and sharpness. So this is a wider lens at 19 millimeters, but there's very minimal distortion as you pan over to those sides, and it's definitely rectilinear, keeping those vertical lines straight and not having any barrel distortion. We're also keeping the sharpness across the entire plane from the center focus here all the way to the edges. And we're gonna do the same test at 90 millimeters. So panning left, again, super sharp all the way to those edges. Panning back right, same thing and then going to center. Next up, my favorite test to do is the flaring test. We're gonna start with a light on a very low brightness and move it around here. As you can see, there's not really too many flares coming from this, but as we brighten it up, you can start to see a lot of those reflective elements in there. We're getting some really cool colored flares. We're getting that blue kind of haze all the way around it, as well as some purple flares on either side, and you're seeing a lot of those inner elements. Going to 90 millimeters and doing the same thing. So having that light on a dimmer setting, going all the way around the outside of the frame and then bringing it in and brightening it up to a higher power. You can see a lot of those same colors. You're getting this really nice blooming from it as well as seeing a bunch of those elements in there in really nice soft focus. So you're not getting a lot of super hard edges, which is awesome. Next up, we're gonna look at the close focus and here we are at two feet, nine inches at 90 millimeters. We're just gonna go out to 19 millimeters, which keeps that same close focus and then back into 90 millimeters. And then we're gonna go in and do a similar test, checking the parfocal of this lens, making sure that the focus stays locked when we're in close and when we zoom out and zoom back in again. We don't want that shifting throughout the zoom range. And you can see it keeps that focus plane at the same spot throughout the entire zoom range. If you wanna try out the Fujinon Cabrio 19 to 90 on your next shoot, definitely check out the links in the description down below. If you have any questions about this lens, let me know in the comments. And if you wanna see all the other lenses that we've tested, all the zooms and primes, I'll throw a link to a playlist right up here. So definitely go and check that out as well. If you guys enjoyed this video and got something out of it, learned a little more about this lens, make sure to let me know by hitting that like button, subscribe for new videos every single week, and I'll see you in the next one.